researchers, students, scientists, and agri and other agricultural professionals to share about their latest agri innovations. Uh, on the other hand, Agro Environmental Education and Farmers Welfare Society aims at enhancing the livelihood opportunities for more than one million farm households in the country. So these both are, these both are the among us the largest networks of agriculture and allied allied science sector professionals professionals in the country right now. Now coming to the session, I would like to thank our guests, organizing course director of this training program, Dr. D P S Badwal sir. Course convener Dr. Sandeep J. Shinde from VNM KV Prabhani, course director of this training program, Dr. Mohit Bharadwaj, members of the organizing committee, course coordinators, Dr. Utkarsha Pramod, uh, and just agriculture education group, and most importantly, the attendees of the session. So now I warmly welcome our chief guest of the first session, Mr. Vivek Mishra, sir. Before inviting sir to deliver his lecture, let me briefly introduce sir to inspire our participants. So presently, Vivek Sir is a founder, director, and CEO of the company Fibro Heal Wound Care Private Limited, which is a techno commercial management professional, worked in various industries and capacities <clears throat> in the field of medical devices, pharmaceuticals, food, food nutrition, and agri and seed business. He started his current venture in the year 2017, which is based on silk protein derived wound management solutions called Fibro Heal Wound Care Private Limited. Fibro Heal is working in the various wound uh, continuum and addresses to different types and stages of wounds through the IP protected technology. Fibroheal is the first company from India and few in the world to be leveraging the biomaterial <clears throat> property of silk and silk proteins to heal different type of acute and chronic wounds. Under Vivek's leadership, Fibroheal won the titles of winner of Elevate 100, one of the most innovative biotech startups organized by Department of ITBT NST, Government of Karnataka. Winner of Startup of the Year under Smart Bio Award 2020 during Bangalore Tech Summit 2020. Winner of the National Technology Award 2020 for the startup organized by Technology Development Board, a statutory body under Department of Science and Technology. And winner of the Best IP Managed MedTech Startup during the Biopharma World IE 2021 Bio Startup Awards. And the finalists of National Startup Awards 2020. So it's a matter of great privilege for us to have you here, sir, with us. I would like to welcome you and invite you to the podium to address us. Over to you, sir. Welcome. I welcome you, sir. Thank you, Preeti. And good evening, everyone. Hope I am perfectly audible to everyone. Yes, sir. You're audible, sir. Okay. So before I present, I will highlight a brief journey, uh, you know, what I have walked in the process. Also, I will give a little bit highlight on what I learned because it is the just agriculture platform. Although I haven't studied agriculture, but I have worked in agriculture setup. And I used to head rice seed business of a company. And under my leadership, the company jumped from fifth position to third position. So that gives me an experience. And that's when I also learned various things about farming, farmers. And I never thought of I will end up starting something related to silk, which is you can say that related to agriculture. And there is a fine line between that. And sericulture, I started and started an application on medtech part. So let me tell you this very openly from the podium that agriculture holds great future for everyone. Whoever is listening to this, whoever is, wants to make a career, wants to build something, please make it a point. I'm making it loud and clear that agriculture is the future. There is huge opportunity, huge possibility which is in this area. And when I say agriculture, it's not just agriculture, but various allied fields and allied areas. And you may realize that certain medicinal plants require certain level of cultivation to get that constituents what affects health. So it may look like a fancy startup idea addressing in pharmaceuticals, medical devices or other areas. But ultimately, it all starts from nature, nature-related stuff or those kind of things, which most, uh, you know, most mountains for the mankind and impact many life. I will touch base upon the journey when I start sharing it. And also, uh, the this is my second session with Just Agriculture, one was in last year. And I could see uh, both the number of crowds, the way uh, things are. I have seen that transformation happening for all the good reasons. And I'm heads off with Just Agriculture for, you know, bringing me to their forum to share it with you. What I will do is, the curation is I have got one, uh, I mean, I have been requested to attend this session for one hour. I will share my presentation, which will last about 25 to 30 minutes. And I will keep about 25 to 30 minutes for Q&A. 
Now in QLA system, what happens? Many people will be having different kinds of doubts, questions, startup ideas. How do I scale up? So that makes that will be more helpful for the forum or the people who wants to discuss anything. My journey, because what I'm talking to you today, it's not just success. This leads to a, I mean, 80% failures and 20% success is what I'm going to share with you. Because ultimately, what you are seeing today after six, seven years of hard work is 80% failures. And that failures has been stepping stone of success, what I'm going to discuss today. So I'm going to uh, share the screen with my presentation. Let me know if it's uh, fully visible and audio. Is my screen visible to everyone? It is visible, sir. It is visible. All right. So the name of my venture is called FibroHeal. And FibroHeal is first company from India to be healing different types of wounds using silk and silk proteins. So we are a biotech medtech startup. And many of you might be knowing uh, silk. Silk for sari, silk for textiles, and those kind of stuff. But we, other than textiles, other than uh, saris and other things, we heal wounds using silk. So you see, there's a silk cocoon. You know, silk worm, it's a plant. Normally, the silk what we use, mulberry, many of you might know. In Hindi, we say sehtooth ke there. So sehtooth ka patta jo hota hai, wo silk worm khata hai usually. And then he uh, spins out cocoon. Or cocoon ke andar do proteins hota hai. You can say sericin and fibroid. So we use fibroin protein to heal various types of wounds. That's why the name of the company is called FibroHeal. Fibroin protein se dhao karte hai, isle company ka naam FibroHeal hai. Aur humara jo purpose tha to start this venture watch, to solve a genuine problem. Aap sab log dekhe honge aapke known circles mein, koi aisa insaan hoga jiski diabetic foot ulcer hogi, ya bed sore hoga, ya cesarean ke baad se dhao nahi bhar raha hai, aur bhoog sare complications aate hai. To start karne ka idea ho tha ki kuch ek natural materials hai, जो जिससे कि एक मतलब इंटायर इकोसिस्टम का भला किया जा सके वेदर सिल ग्रोइंग फार्मर्स आर द पेशेंट्स आर द हॉस्पिटल्स आर द पीपल एंड दैट लेड अस टू स्टार्ट फाइब्रोइड दीज आर सम ऑफ द थिंग्स व्हिच आई विल नॉट टच बेस अपॉन व्हाट प्रीति हैज ऑलरेडी हाइलाइटेड दिस इज हाउ द सिल्क जर्नी हैज बीन आई विल नॉट आल्सो स्पेंड मच टाइम हियर बट हम इंडिया से पहली कंपनी है जो सिल्क के रेस में निकले हैं और वी आर डूइंग एक्सीडिंगली वेल इन द मार्केट प्लेस आज के डेट में हमारे 700 सौ हॉस्पिटल्स में प्रोडक्ट यूज भी हो रहे हैं एंड वाई दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज बहुत सारे लोग नाइनटी और पीपल हु आर इन दिस सेशन टूडे मेनी ऑफ देम वुड हैव ए बडिंग आइडिया ऑफ बींग एन आंटरप्रनर एट सम स्टेज इन देयर लाइफ या तो आने वाला होगा या कभी आया होगा तो इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट कि आप यू विल बी एबल टू रिलेट इट एंड maybe this may be a guiding force for you in some way where you can also you know get some ideas so is liye uh, ye journey dekhiye aur journey ke baad mein jo mera last message hoga us pe dekhiyega then we'll move into q and a this is how silk cocoon ka digging process happens so, aapko pata hai ki silk worm stays inside a perfectly closed system so in a closed cocoon worm stays inside that is put it in boiling water thread comes out and that is used for reeling weaving jo garam kholte hue pani mein silk cocoon ko dala jata hai उससे वो थ्रेड निकलता है जिसको कि आप रीलिंग वीविंग में यूज करते हैं और हमारा जो स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल होता है तो वो टेक्सटाइल्स के लिए वो जरूरी होता है कि आप उसे मतलब टूटा नहीं होना चाहिए जबकि हमारे लिए सिंस इट्स मेडिकल एप्लीकेशन इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट कि कुकून टूटा हुआ हो जिससे वॉर्म निकल जाए तो वॉर्म क्या होता है कि कुकून को ब्रेक करता है फिर वॉर्म निकल जाता है फिर वो मेल फीमेल मेट करके एक्स प्रोड्यूस करते हैं दे डाई नेचुरल डेथ जो एम्प्टी सेल्स एम्प्टी कुकून होते हैं दैट इज आउट स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल इसी के अंदर से हम करते हैं सबसे पहले हम डिगमिंग करते हैं फिर हम डिजोल्यूशन करते हैं और लास्ट में हमने अपने फाइब्रेन सोल्यूशन निकालते हैं जो हमारा जिससे हमारे बहुत सारे फॉर्मुलेशन बन पाते हैं जो मैं टच बेस करूंगा हमारे पास काफी सारे पेटेंट्स भी हैं और मेडिकल डिवाइस में घुसने का मतलब कि आपको बहुत सारे अप्रूवल्स लगते हैं क्योंकि सारा काफी कंट्रोल सिस्टम होता है तो हमारे खुद के आर सेंटर है जिससे कि हम कुकून से लेकर के और प्रोडक्ट फाइनल तक हम लोग खुद डेवलप करते हैं You can see these are silk growing farmers and silk market. You can see they are with cocoons. The office map they accept. So, which is our young team, who is now quite big, who is 50-60 people, who is now big. And then the range of products. So, this is old photo for two years, but you can see how it is impacting. Right from uh, agri-related field, where mulberry leaf was silk worm was grown, and then it, you know, it spins the cocoon, and from cocoon, the products are made. ये चार एरिया पे हम फोकस कर रहे हैं पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव होता है जब आप सिजेरियन या कोई भी सर्जरी होती है उसके बाद जो आप वुड कवर करते हैं उसके लिए एक्यूट और ट्रामा वुड जो एक्सीडेंटल केसेस जैसे सब होते हैं 
क्रोनिक वून जैसे डायबिटिक अल्सर बेड सोर या ऐसा कोई घाव हुआ है जो नहीं भर रहा है और दूसरा चौथा हुआ स्कार आजकल लोग बहुत पर्टिकुलर है कि स्कार नहीं होना चाहिए तो ये सारे एरिया हम लोग सिल्क और सिल्क प्रोटीन से भर रहे हैं नाउ सबसे पहले वेन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्टर और यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड एनीथिंग ये बहुत जरूरी है इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू आइडेंटिफाई द प्रॉब्लम वॉट विच प्रॉब्लम डू यू वॉन्ट टू एड्रेस सपोज आप किसी खेती में कर रहे हो तो किसी पर्टिकुलर एरिया में करना चाह रहे हो तो उसकी उपज कैसे बढ़े उसमें कैसा एरिया है क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स है वो प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफाई करके आपको उसको एड्रेस करोगे तो आपके सक्सेस के चांसेस कई गुना बढ़ जाते हैं दैट इज वॉट दैट इज हाउ यू बिल्ड रियल बिजनेस तो कई पेशेंट को जो हमने आइडेंटिफाई किया था कि देर इज डिफिकल्टी इन हीलिंग स्लो हीलिंग और नो हीलिंग कई लोगों में कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वूंस होते हैं तो भाव जल्दी भरता नहीं है कई जगह पर हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन कॉस्ट ज्यादा हो जाता है क्योंकि वो काफी दिन तक हॉस्पिटल में रहते हैं और किसी के लिए भी बहुत मुश्किल पड़ता है और जब ट्रीटमेंट हो रहा होता है तो उस वक्त जो पेन और जो सफरिंग होती है उससे क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ डिक्रीज होती है इसीलिए हमने जो सोल्यूशन सिल्क बेस निकाला वो बायोकॉम्पेटेबल है नॉन एनर्जेनिक नॉन साइटोटॉक्सिक है एयर परमिएबिलिटी क्योंकि अगर आप देखिए कि सिल्क कुकून के अंदर वम है जिंदा है वो एबल ब्रीथ कर पा रहा है एयर इज एबल टू यू नो पास थ्रू दैट कुकून इट हैज हाई टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ कहा जाता है कि वर्ल्ड वॉर वन के टाइम में वेस्ट बंगाल में एक जगह है बेरहानपुर वहां पर सिल्क कमिश्नर हुआ करते थे क्योंकि वन ग्राम स्टील से वन ग्राम सिल्क ज्यादा मजबूत होता है और जो सिल्क होता है सिल्क के वो पैरासूट के रोप्स बनाया जाता था क्योंकि पैरासूट के रोप्स जो ट्रूप्स को लैंड कराने में एरोप्लेन से ड्रॉप करने में होता था तो इसलिए एक बरामपुर में सिल्क कमिश्नर दिखे तो इट हैज एक्सिलेंट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ एंड सिल्क प्रोटीन जो है वो एक स्केफोल्ड बनाता है जिसका एक सेल अटैचमेंट होकर काफी दो होता है और इसके वजह से कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव और एफिशिएंट हीलिंग प्रोसेस है क्योंकि इंडिया एक सेकंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ सिल्क इन द वर्ल्ड चाइना इज लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर इंडिया इज सेकंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर विद मोर देन 33,000 मेट्रिक टन ऑफ सिल्क और इसके अंदर से कर्नाटक का 60 परसेंट से ज्यादा सिल्क कर्नाटका में प्रोड्यूस होता है तो इसकी वजह से हमारी नेचुरल चॉइस जो हो गई वो बैंगलोर बेस्ड हुई थी क्योंकि यहाँ पे सिल्क का सबसे बड़ा गढ़ है जिसकी वजह से हमने सिलेक्ट किया बैंगलोर टू स्टार्ट आवर वेंचर ये रफली मार्केट साइज है जब आपने प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया तो ये जरूरी है कि कितना बड़ा मार्केट साइज हम एड्रेस कर रहे हैं जैसे अगर आप किसी पर्टिकुलरली वेजिटेबल सेक्शन में मतलब वेजिटेबल के एरिया में कुछ स्टार्टअप करना चाह रहे हो तो आपको पता होना चाहिए कि कितना बड़ा मार्केट में एड्रेस कर रहे हैं और उसके हिसाब से मैं किस किस एरिया में किस किस प्रॉब्लम्स को मैं एड्रेस करने वाला हूँ तो इससे क्या होगा जैसे आप देखिए कि हमने देखा इंडियन हेल्थ केयर स्पेस जो कि हॉस्पिटल सेटिंग में यूज होता है मैं ये नहीं बता रहा हूँ कि हर गांव में हर जो छोटे डॉक्टर कर रहे हैं बट बड़े जो हॉस्पिटल सेटअप पर थोड़े बड़े गांव होते हैं उसका मार्केट अराउंड दो हजार करोड़ का है तो आप उसमें कैसे एड्रेस करोगे क्योंकि आप पूरे इंडिया को कवर नहीं कर सकते उसको करने में आपको पंद्रह साल लग जाएंगे लेकिन शुरू के दो साल में कितना करोगे चार साल में कितना करोगे सात साल में कितना करोगे वो आपको प्लानिंग के लिए जरूरी होता है मार्केट स्पेस टोटल मार्केट जानना जिससे आप अगर थोड़े फैंसी टर्म में इन्वेस्टर्स की लैंग्वेज में सुनोगे तो उससे टैन सैमसॉम बोलते हैं टोटल एड्रेसेबल मार्केट How market, how much you can reach? तो वो सारे लैंग्वेज होते हैं अब आप देखिए रखिए जैसे एक्यूटन क्रोनिक वूड्स के लिए ये हमारे रेंज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट है जिसमें मैं बहुत ज्यादा डिटेल में नहीं जाऊंगा लेकिन ये सारे रेंज है जो कि एक्यूट और क्रोनिक वूड्स में यूज होते हैं इंक्लूडिंग इसमें वाटर प्रूफ ड्रेसिंग्स भी होती है जो सी सेक्शन में लगती है भारत में अराउंड तीन करोड़ चाइल्ड बर्थ हर साल होता है और जिसमें से कम से कम आपके साठ लाख के ऊपर सिलेरियन होता है तीन करोड़ में से बीस परसेंट रफली सैतालीस परसेंट बड़ी शहरों में सिलेरियन होता है और उन्नीस साढ़े उन्नीस परसेंट रूरल एरियाज में सीजेरियन होता है इंडिया के मैं टोटल इंडिया के बता रहा हूँ पॉपुलेशन के हिसाब से तो अराउंड बीस परसेंट अगर आप एवरेज लेते हैं तो साठ लाख के आसपास आपका रफली ये सीजेरियन होता है हर साल ये सारे होते हैं जैसे डायबिटिक अल्सर हो गया बेडसोर हो गया या कुछ इस तरह के घाव हो गए जिसे भर रहे हैं बहुत समय लग रहा है उसके लिए ये रेंज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इसे हम माइनस एटी डिग्रीज में मतलब फ्रिज ड्राई करके उसे ठंडे में हम सुखाते हैं उस टेक्नोलॉजी से हम ये बनाते हैं सारे प्रोडक्ट्स ये हुआ जैसे मास मार्केट हुआ मेरा इनोवेशन बहुत अच्छा है मेरा पेटेंटेड प्रोडक्ट है मेरी साइंस बहुत अच्छी है बट क्या हर जगह में हमारा प्रोडक्ट यूज हो सकता है वो एक बहुत बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर होता है कि इमेजिन कीजिए अगर हमारा प्रोडक्ट चार हजार का हो या दो हजार का हो तो बैंगलोर में या चंडीगढ़ में लोग एफोर्ड कर सकेंगे बट मुझे किसी रूरल एरियाज में जाना है अगर मैं चाहूँ तो गुरदासपुर में मेरा प्रोडक्ट यूज हो तो उस केस में हमारे लिए जरूरी है कि हम हर तरह के रेंज ऑफर करें तो हमारे
लेकिन एट द सेम पॉइंट ऐसे प्राइस पॉइंट पे हो जिससे इनोवेशन शुड बी अफोर्डेबल ए गुड साइंस विच इज अफोर्डेबल एंड कैन इम्प्रूव द लाइफ इज वॉट सक्सेड इन अल्टीमेटली मार्केट डिसाइड सक्सेड एंड चाहे वो किसी भी एरिया का हो किसी भी फील्ड का हो और ये लाइव एग्जाम्पल है फाइव जिसमें एक कुकूल Which was, जो बहुत पहले से था और उससे हमने एक घाव भरने के लिए प्रोडक्ट्स बनाए और आज के रेट पर हम नेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी के अवार्ड के विनर भी रहे और अगर आप फाइब्रो हिल सर्च भी करोगे सोशल मीडिया या लिंक या इंस्टाग्राम या फेसबुक पे तो आपको काफी चीजें दिखेंगी जिसमें काफी बड़े बड़े मिनिस्टर्स ने भी अप्रिशिएट किया है इस ग्रास रूट इनोवेशन पे ये सारे हुए अदर ड्रेसिंग जो ट्रेकोस्टोमी और इस सबके एरिया में यूज होता है उसके लिए ना जब आप कंपनी बिल्ड करते हो मैं थोड़ा सा ले जाऊंगा स्टार्टअप की तरफ क्योंकि तो बहुत सारे लोग आप इंटरेस्टेड होंगे अपना खुद का स्टार्टअप या बिजनेस है करने का वन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इम्पैक्ट इज और वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टू हैव गुड कोलेबोरेशन इन प्लेस जैसे अगर आप देखिए फाइव ना ये सारे लीडिंग इंडिया के साइंस इंस्टीट्यूट है इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस आई बॉम्बे सी एस नेशनल केमिकल इंस्टीट्यूट मनीपाल इंस्टेंट रमैया हमारे पास तीस से ज्यादा कोलेबोरेशन है जहाँ के स्टूडेंट्स हमारी लैब में आते हैं काम करते हैं जहाँ हमारे लोग वहां जाते हैं प्रोफेसर्स के साथ पढ़ते हैं जो एकेडमिक और जो इंडस्ट्री की लर्निंग है उसे एक साथ ब्रिज किया जाता है क्योंकि जो आप लोग पढ़ते हो और जो इंडस्ट्री में अप्लीकेशन होता है कई बार इट्स लिटिल डिफरेंट सो कोलेबोरेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन लाइफ इन एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ लाइफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सक्सीड यू नीड टू कोलेबरेट वेल विथ योर टीम यू नीड टू कोलेबरेट वेल विथ योर चैनल पार्टनर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स साइंटिस्ट लाइजनर्स एवरी तो कोलेबोरेशन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू सक्सीड इन लाइफ एंड पर्टिकुलरली इन बिजनेस डेफिनेटली दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग व्हाट विल हेल्प यू टू कम अप एंड ग्रो इन लाइफ सो कोलेबोरेशन जरूरी है और अगर आप थोड़े से कुछ करना चाहते हो जिसमें कुछ इनोवेशन है तो प्लीज पार्टनर विद पीपल और इसमें यह भी जरूरी चीज है कि कई बार आपको मीडिया से भी अच्छे पार्टनरशिप होने चाहिए क्योंकि इमेजिन कीजिए आप कहीं रीच आउट करना चाहते हो कई बार जर्नलिस्ट वगैरह आपको काफी बड़े लेवल पे हेल्प करते हैं जो मीडिया माउथ पीस होते हैं जैसे आपका जस्ट एग्रीकल्चर मैगजीन हुआ यू कैन लर्न लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फ्रॉम दिस मैगजीन इसके बारे में वैसे ही आप काफी चीजें तो कोलेबोरेशन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग और ये मेरा लेसन नंबर वन होगा कि आप प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट और ये सब आइडेंटिफाई करने बाद से डोंट ट्राई टू फाइंड यू नो फाइट ए सोलो बैटल ऑलवेज कोलाबरेट ऑलवेज कोलाबरेट ऑलवेज एंड दिस विल हेल्प यू टू सक्सेड दूसरा ये भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि आपको क्रॉस फंक्शनल कोलेबोरेशन करना चाहिए क्रॉस इंडस्ट्रीज कोलेबोरेशन करना चाहिए आपको भी पता है कि रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज को आपने कभी नहीं सुना होगा कि वो इस स्पेस में काम कर रहे हैं वूडे लिंग बट हमारे साथ रिसर्च में पार्टनर हैं टाटा हमारे साथ पार्टनर है लेनोडिका ये स्टोनिया यूरोप बेस्ड कंपनी जो हमारे साथ रिसर्च के लिए पार्टनरशिप की हुई है सनमुखा है इस तरह से बहुत सारे हमारे कोलेबोरेशन है जो कि आपने देखा कि एक तरफ हम एकेडमिक साइड से कोलेबोरेट कर रहे हैं एक बार इंडस्ट्री साइड से कोलेबोरेट कर रहे हैं और क्रॉस फंक्शनल लर्निंग हो रही है इससे क्या होता है जो आपका नेक्स्ट प्रोडक्ट पाइपलाइन आता है जो आप प्रॉब्लम्स के सॉल्यूशंस निकालते हो और जब कई सारे लोग डिस्कस करते हैं तो बहुत सारे इनोवेटिव आइडियाज बाहर आते हैं दैट इज व्हाट दीज कोलैबोरेशन हेल्प यू बोथ एकेडमिक एज वेल एज इंडस्ट्रियल फिर ये भी जरूरी है कि आप अच्छे अच्छे पेपर्स में आप क्या जब आप अच्छा काम करोगे इट विल गेट कवर्ड इन वेरियस लीडिंग पेपर ये अगर आप देख सकते हो कि नेशनल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ मेडिसिन जो है ये आपका यूएस गवर्नमेंट का साइट है जिसपे हमारे इनोवेटिव वर्क जो ये प्रोडक्ट्स अभी तक आए नहीं है जिसको आप देख सकते हो तो हम फोटो में फोटो पोलिमराइज सिल्क फाइलोजियल फॉर एडवांस वर्न केयर पे आप देख सकते हो मेरा भी नाम आप देख सकते हो चौथे नंबर पे है सिमिलरली हम लोग एक और प्रोडक्ट डेवलप कर रहे हैं जिससे गन शॉर्ट जैसे इंजुरी जैसे गोली की इंजुरी होती है वो भी दो तीन मिनट के अंदर रुक जाए जो डिफेंस फोर्सेज और सबके लिए काफी हेल्पफुल होगा जो बॉर्डर्स में है उसके लिए भी हमारा रिसर्च चल रहा है आर एनडी टीम हमारी काम कर रही है और आप देख रहे हो कि जो दो पेपर्स हैं ये इसके ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं जिससे कि हम जैसे अगर आप देखिए कि एक सिल्क है और दूसरा उसमें काइटोसिन काइटोसिन हम बोलते हैं जो स्क्रिम्प वगैरह होते हैं उनके ऊपर का वो काइटीन का जो लेयर होता है या सिंपल बोले जो कॉकरोच होता है कॉकरोच के ऊपर वो जो एक सफेद टाइप का लेयर होता है उसे काइटीन बोला जाता है उसी से काइटोसिन डिराइव होता है तो उस टाइप से आप कर सकते हो क्योंकि वो पोली से क्राइड होता है वो बहुत जल्दी उनको थक्का बना सकता है इस वजह से यू कैन हेल्प यू नो इन फास्टर को आगुलेशन एंड सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ डेथ हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सेसिव ब्लीडिंग ऑन वॉर साइड तो ये कितना ही हेल्पफुल होगा हमारे देश के लोगों के लिए एक्सीडेंट साइट पे आप देख रहे हो कई जगह एक्सीडेंट होते हैं अगर सिंपल ब्लीडिंग रोक दी जाए तो आप ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी सेवेंटी परसेंट लोगों को बचा
इतने सारे एरियाज हैं जिसपे हम काम कर सकते हैं नॉट गेट इन टू दीज डिटेल्स बट आप देख सकते हो कि एज यू स्टार्ट टेकिंग द स्टेप्स सबसे पहले आपने प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफाई किया आपका सोल्यूशन आया उसके बाद आपके आपने कोलेबरेशन वगैरह किए फिर बहुत सारे डिस्कशन के बाद बहुत सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज वगैरह हुए एंड दिस इज वॉट यू नो विल हेल्प यू टू स्केल अप एंड कम अप एंड लाइन जैसे आप देख सकते हो सिल्क प्रोटीन जो कुकून से हमने सिंपल से स्टार्ट किया था वे स्टार्टेड विथ फाइब्रोइ we get into five biomaterials but if you see there is opportunity in therapeutics tissue engineering photonics food sensors regenerative medicine aur agar uska jo dusra protein sericin ka dekhe usme aap regenerative medicine cosmetics delivery systems delivery systems matlab koi medicine jaise insulin hai insulin ko aap fibroin ke andar encapsulate kar dijiye aur body mein de dijiye taki wo agle 7 din tak release karta rahe ya 14 din tak release karta rahe to ye kaisa rahega sochiye ki koi insulin lene wala aadmi एक इंजेक्शन ले जो आजकल लो, रोज लेते हैं लोग आपने देखा होगा कि बहुत सारे लोग जो आपके नोन में होंगे जो डायबिटिक होंगे वो इंसुलिन रोज लेते होंगे इमेजिन समवन टेकिंग इट वंस इन टू वीक्स ऑन वंस इन वन मंथ कितना कन्वीनियंट हो गया ट्रेवल के लिए इसके लिए सो so, इस तरह के इनोवेशन जो है दैट कम्स फ्रॉम पीपल लाइक यू हु वॉन्ट्स टू मेक एन इम्पैक्ट हु वॉन्ट्स टू डू समथिंग बिग इन लाइक हु वॉन्ट्स टू ब्रिंग इंडिया टू द फोर फ्रंट एंड बी आई मीन क्रिएट ए मेजर यू नो प्लेयर इन द वर्ल्ड वेर people trust the technology people trust the science people trust the people that yes india is the thing and we are going to do great things in coming time so ye aap jaise log hai jo soch ke aage badhenge and see when i started i never knew kitni opportunities hain but as we moved along the journey ye sare opportunities apne aap open up hoti chali gayi roughly i will indicate you uh, just jo both farming side ka as well as wood ke side ka silk kaise benefit karta hai india about 33000 metric ton silk produce karta hai jiske andar sericulture jo agriculture ka ek part hi hai wo about 10.6 lakh logon ko karnataka mein employ kiya hua hai 80 lakh log across the country directly indirectly involved hai large amount of silk jo hai wo reeling weaving aur asar mein waste ho jata hai isse agar hum log jaise main to thodi high tech job kar raha hu but kai sari cheeze isse banayi ja sakti hain that can lead to generating various employments or if non textile application of silk gains traction kisano ki aamdani badhegi economy of silk production badhega and ultimately it will help to address various issues now wound care side mein karao ye tha aapke basically sericulture aur farmer side mein silk industry ke side wound care ke side mein right now 85% products are imported in medical devices so hum usme affordable aur cost effective products la sakte hain hospitalization cost ka coffee lower ho jata hai kyunki patient ki quality of life aur jo ghav jab jaldi bhar raha hai to चीजें जो है मतलब इट विल बी मच बेनिफिशियल फॉर पेशेंट आपने देखा होगा कि नर्स से जो डॉक्टर अक्सर बहुत बिजी रहते हैं तो अगर उनके ड्रेसिंग का टाइम कम हो जाता है तो उनके पास भी टाइम बचता है ज्यादा पेशेंट्स देखने का और पैरली इट इंक्रीजेस द क्वालिटी एंड नॉन सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द लाइफ तो आप देख रहे हो कि एक छोटी सी सिल्क कुकू जिससे हमने एक कदम लेके आगे बढ़ना शुरू किया इतने सारे चीजों को इम्पैक्ट कर पा रही है और आज के डेट पे हमें यह भी खुशी होती हुई कि मेरे प्रोडक्ट्स अक्रॉस इंडिया में अवेलेबल हैं सात छह सात साल का और बहुत अच्छे एक्सेप्टेंस आ रहे हैं चाहे आप लीजिए चाहे मैं तमिलनाडु बोलूं चाहे हिमाचल बोलूं चाहे पंजाब हरियाणा बोलूं चाहे कोलकाता बोलूं चाहे दिल्ली बोलूं चाहे महाराष्ट्र बोलूं चाहे केरला बोलूं मेरे प्रोडक्ट्स बहुत अच्छे रिस्पांस दे रहे हो जब आप देखते हो कई सारे जगह किसी का सडनली पैर कटने वाला था और हमारे प्रोडक्ट्स एक महीना यूज करने वाला प्रोडक्ट्स पैर बच गया इट फील सो नाइस मतलब आपको सेटिस्फेक्शन लगता है कि यस वी आर डूइंग समथिंग विच इज वर्क तो दैट इज वॉट यू नो यू शुड लुक क्रिएट ये सब कुछ कुछ केसेज आप देख सकते हो डे जीरो का और छह महीने में कैसे हमारे रेंज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स के घाव भरे हैं ये सत्तर साल की लेडी है एक रिटायर्ड मिलिट्री ऑफिसर की वाइफ थी और ये ड्रेसिंग मैंने खुद किया था तो आप देख सकते हो छह महीने में कैसी हालत थी और कैसी हुई थी ये आप देख सकते हो ये बाइक साइलेंसर का बर्न केस है आप भी देख सकते हो कि कैसे इम्प्रूव हुआ है पंद्रह दिन के अंदर ये देखिए एम्स ट्रामा सेंटर में ये इम्पुटेशन केस था जिसमें दो उंगलियां काट दी गई थी क्योंकि डायबिटिक से घाव नहीं भर रहा था नहीं काटते तो पूरा पैर काटना पड़ता और आप देख सकते हो बारह दिन हमने कैसे उसे कवर किया है तो ये तो चीजें हो गई जो मैं बताना चाह रहा था नाउ ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें हैं कि अगर आप अंतरपूर्ण बनना चाहते हो तो आपके लिए क्या जरूरी है कई बार हम लोग वी बिकम वेरी इमोशनल अबाउट आवर डिसीजन और द आइडिया प्लीज लर्न दिस एंड मेक ए नोट ऑफ दिस यू नीड टू एक्सेप्ट एंड मूव ऑन इन लाइफ बिकमिंग इमोशनल अबाउट सर्टन डिसीजन और आइडियाज कैन बी डेटिमेंटल फॉर योर पीस and that will help you to come up and grow in life okay so with this thank you very much i am open for q and a
sir thank you so much for the wonderful session and uh, it's actually inspiring to see you growing like this and what a wonderful life saving deed you are doing so we are proud of you sir and actually our participant must be having uh, some doubts to talk to you and they will be definitely wanting you to talk to you about this so sure uh, so chat box is open for discussion as well as i will keep them uh, and i will give the access to unmute themselves so if they want to talk to you directly they can definitely talk yeah so we use bombix mori silk only which is mostly uh, grown in karnataka muga tasser tasser is the hundred silk ev and muga are the ones which are grown mostly in assam parts and that is used for weaving that nekla chadar for this so our we use mostly bombix mori and that is mulberry leaf the plant mora salva so that is what we Now that is what the silkworm eat, and then they generate and the cocoons, which has almost seventy percent fibroin and about twenty five percent cocoon uh, sericin. Hello. Yes. Uh, sir, silk is used in army dresses. It uh, material uses in is a raw material. Right. Is possible, sir? What? I sorry, I couldn't get your question. What in is? army dresses, uh, dress coding, sir. Right. Silk is a uh, silk fiber. Is it used for? Uh, not really. I mean that is used for different things. But what we are working on, it is mostly going to help you in start arresting the bleeding. That is what we are working on, uh, or the papers what has been published. So it will help to arrest the bleeding uh, within two to three minutes. That is what is the uh, you know plus point with us. Maybe oh. sir, is a spider web sir fibers is a use for. Army dresses in raw materials. Yes, no spider dragon silk. What we are talking about that has toughness. That that may be used in uh, making various bulletproof jackets and other things. But what we are working on yes. simply arresting the bleeding. We are not working on bulletproof uh, jackets. Thank you. So there is a question in the chat box from Gopi Gopi Krishna. Right. Yeah, so she is asking, sir. Spider dragline silks are known for their uh, known for their extreme toughness. And is there any research on combination with silicone fiber from your end of? Uh, yeah, so so dragline silk, what they say is kind of you know tussle silk only. When that falls from the tree, that thread, what it forms is called often dragline silk. Yes, tussle has some implications, but again, when uh, you are researching on certain area, you may have to be clear that you know it should. also be cost effective and should solve a problem so we have we have uh, we are aware that yes dragline silk or spider silk has great potential but we have not been i mean it is not adding sufficient value to be added to the products directly and also more studies needs to be done in that area So, for our participants, would you uh, like to tell our participants that, sir, uh, what's your background and how did you come to to the fibro heal and uh, to towards the medical side of it? And would you like to tell us, sir? Ah, uh, I mean, in my presentation, I have indicated it already, and uh, I, I mean, if someone has heard it, they would have already heard it by now. But however, I am sharing email ID, our official email ID, where people can reach out if they have any doubts and questions. Yes, sir. right. Yes, sir. With this, sir, I, I, if there are no more questions, I would like to log off because I have another meeting. So there is a question in the chat box, sir, uh, from Toko. She is asking, sir, is there any side effects of this brown dressing? No, silk-based dressings. Uh, since it's a protein, we can't say that you know there won't be any reaction at all. But however, if you look at silk fibroin, it is not having that epitopes. So and then there is a specific molecular weight at which we process it. So with that, the chances of reaction is negligible. However, being a protein and being from an uh, external source, we always say that there is always a 0.5 percent chance that it may react. However, we have not come across any such cases where our products has caused any allergy or any major reaction. 
Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, Thank just you, for another 30 minutes, we will wait, sir, if somebody else is uh, going to ask something. So, otherwise, we will. Sure. The participants, any other question from your side, if it is there? Oh, thank you very much. I would like to carry on. Thank you, Priti. Thank you, everyone. So, dear participants, our next next guest is joining, and we will uh, we will be patient for two to five minutes. Am I audible? So, dear respected participants, our uh, second speaker for the second session, Dr. Ashish Patil, sir, has joined us. Am I audible, sir? Yes. Yes, sir. So, participants, uh, 
I would like to welcome our respected sir. And uh, before asking sir to deliver his lecture, I would like to give a brief introduction about sir. So Dr. Ashish Patil sir is a senior agronomist in R&D division uh, in Kona group which is a group for growing different medical plants into hydrophonic farm and checks out feasibility on the basis of medical properties and economically viabilities. And uh, sir has done his uh, BSc from Anand Agriculture University in 2011 to 15 batch. He's done his MSc from Soil Science and Agriculture Chemistry uh, from SDU University. And sir done his PhD in the same discipline from Nausari Agriculture University. And uh, thereafter, sir has joined uh, in 2020 as a senior agronomist. And uh, sir is mainly involved in building up the protocols for fertilizer application for different crops in hydrophonic system and having different plant growing conditions for polyhouse and set planning and care schedules. Sir is having a number of achievements, such as letter of appreciation for good agronomy services at Maldives, best oral and poster presentation in various number of uh, conference seminars in national and international seminars. And sir is having a good skill development course on secondary agriculture organized by ICR and World Bank. And also having a course director of organic farming as steps to developing farm organized by government of India. This was a brief introduction about this, sir. Now I would like to ask sir to please enlighten us with his words. Over to you, sir, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to everyone uh, in the 15 days online international training come workshop on behalf of Just Agriculture and uh, Konak Future Farm, KFF Konak Group. Uh, today we will discuss on hydroponics farming uh, their essential factor for developing and how to operate it. So we will uh, learn by, uh, so first we will, one sec. First we, uh, what is the hydroponics? So hydroponics is a Latin word. It's divided by two words. Hydro means water, ponus means labor. It means working with water. It simply said it is the art of growing plant without soil. Any plants we can grow it through hydroponic system with a plant what with it need, when it need and how much amount they need. We know that this plant's physiology then without physical uh, genetically change we can possible to grow into hydroponically. So why we do the hydroponics farm? We are already do the traditional farming. We achieve the more and more yield after the green revolution. So why we need to a hydroponics farm? So the difference between hydroponics farm and we currently we do the traditional farming or soil-based farming. So we will uh, discuss on, uh, in fertilizer uses, we use in traditional farming, the fertilizer are losses through the various way like uh, percolate, then evaporation, and also the uh, utilized by the weed. But in case of hydroponics farming, fertilizer directly applied through the root zones. So we here fertilizer is very efficiently, uh, efficiently used. When also same in water uses. Water uses in traditional farming, water are lost through the percolation, evaporation, and translocation through the weed. But in case of hydroponics farming, 90% water we are saving as compared to the traditional farming. Also, in uh, when we growing a traditional farming or soil-based farming, we need a fertile soil as well as we need a wood, a wood category of soil. But in hydroponics, we can grow anywhere. At a desert, at uh, then underground basement, then a terrace, we can grow anywhere uh, we do the hydroponics farming. In course of growth and yield, we achieve the 30% more growth than the traditional farming and 25% more yield than the uh, soil based or traditional farming. Also a sustainability, when we use in soil farming, then turn and turn, 
by uh, when you grow uh, same crops yearly year, then yield should be reduced. But in case of hydroponics farming, it is very efficiently. We can use a uh, single crop monocropping, even though yield should be not decreasing in uh, hydroponics farming. Then also uh, in the world, every year, 83 million people are ill. By uh, end of 2050, total population of world is 9.8 billion people. So we need a more than 70% uh, food production as compared to uh, now. So we need to uh, food fill the uh, feed for 9.8 billion people. So we need uh, at least 593 million hectare in 2050. So we will uh, convert this much land into the agriculture land so we can uh, fill, uh, meet the food for 9.8 billion people. Its land is not too, uh, it's not a less land. It is a almost double size of current Indian area. So it is a, a very hard to convert the, this much amount of land to in a agriculture land. Even though we have a less resources like 3% water, fresh water available, only 0.5% available of fresh water in the earth. So we can use is a agriculture purpose and other purposes. Also, nowadays climate change is a big issue. In 2020, one estimated 124 million people are hunger due to uneven flooded, irrigation and rotted and high temperature. So this much uh, regions we converted our next generation or next farming is a hydroponics farming. Also, a commercial hydroponics are growing day by day. Global hydroponics industry has been grown four to five fold in last 10 years. And global hydroponics market, current market is 9.5 billion in 2020. And next 2028, 22.2 billion US dollar. It is too much amount. Also in India, according to CGR, compound annual growth rate forecasting is 13.53% in 2027. It is a good indication for growing a commercial hydroponics old day by day. Also, these are the advantage for the commercial hydroponics. We are uh, good revenue generation. Also, a large rain not required. Then we use the reusable water. 90% water we have saved in hydroponics farming. Where area, when less water availability, then they use the uh, reusable water and hydroponics farmings like UAE, uh, then uh, uh, Abu Dhabi. They are also uh, growing uh, crops through the hydroponics farming. Also, we control and saving an efficiently use of nutrient, easy pest control, then easy to harvesting. Also, we can grow in off season crops. So, these are the important. Uh, uh, important for the, uh, we are converted into the hydroponics farming, but we developed a hydroponic farming before we know what are the important factor for developing a hydroponics farming. So we learn uh, one by one for structure, then which type of hydroponic system are we installed, then what are the environment requirement after developing and before, then also which type of nutrient solution we apply, what is C, what pH, then growing media, which type of growing media use, we are learned step by step. For structure, generally two type of hydroponic system or structure uh, uh, structure required for a hydroponics farming. One is the outdoor project uh, where the natural light are available is called as an outdoor project. This project are developed through in uh, agriculture land, LNA land, as well as GIDC plot, terrace, or any other open plot. In this uh, project, we develop a different kind of structure, like fan and pair polio structure, then NVPH, insect-proof net house, then rain protected uh, net house, then wire rope net house, different type of structure here, we are developed uh, and do the hydroponics farming. But in case of indoor farming, where natural source of light not available, we provide it through artificial light, then, project is known as an indoor project is also uh, this project set up on the balcony room warehouse and underground rooms so different type of uh, hydroponic system which crop you are growing 
uh, planning to grow into the hydroponics and which system are preferable you select then develop and then after you can uh, easily convert into commercial hydroponics farming so these are the different uh, system we learn uh, step by step this first is a big system its system uh, in this system one reservoir and in reservoir one week are available they uh, transport the nutrient and water through the capillary movement to growing media uh, nowadays it's already this principle are already used in the safe uh, self watering port is available into the uh, indoor farming or indoor port or indoor uh, uh, decorative plant is now available into the market this is a, a very good initial or beginner uh, for the system but it not be a viable for the commercial cultivation second is abo and furrow system or also known as a floor and drain system in this system uh, the irrigation with uh, water with nutrient solution are passed on to the growing tray with certain amount of fill then after drain it access nutrient solution through the outer portion so it's called as a floor first we do the floor then after access water are drain out so it's also known as a floor and drain out system in this system is which crop are more water craving crops it's best growing in this system it's easy to build up system but here some problem in this system like uh, uh, we use the gravel pebble and hydro higher porosity media so when the power failure at the time plant should be die but we can use a small or more water retaining a media like a rock wool vermiculite coco fiber at the time the water holding capacity are more this media and water logging problem are issues that's why root damage are more in this system so media selection uh, for this system is very uh, actively and um, most important for this system another one is deep uh, water culture uh, is also known as a dwc culture uh, everyone knows uh, knows this system or you can see also in youtube a foreign country is most uh, viable uh, it's also commercially viable crops but larger not a larger plant it is a small plant it's more suitable in this system one reservoir on reservoir styrofoam seat are uh, uh, floating in seat we hold it and put a net pot and we grow the plant so continuously the root are deep into the nutritional uh, water also here one air strong pump so what they do they are doing a bubbling into the plant you can see into the aquaculture so what is they they given the oxygenated solution so root are uh, perfectly fill up the with the uh, oxygen or then uh, fulfill their need through oxygen and another one is the nutrient film techniques this is the highly commercially viable uh, techniques is also known as a nutrient film techniques or nft techniques in this system one gully or channel available in one side the nutrient solution with water are aid into the one side and another side the nutrient are return it's also known as active or circulated uh, hydroponic system is system is generally commercially viable every uh, in indian condition every almost hydroponics farm are uh, developed through the nft system in this system we not require too much media also less maintenance also a, a vertical farming are possible through the nft system in system two type of system it is a flat nft system and then one is a a frame vertical nft system another one is drip system everyone knows what is the uh, drip system the uh, the channel of uh, tubes then uh, uh, divided by the drip lines and dropped to the root zone so it is a, a drip system in this drip system we are developing a, a different type of uh, uh, system like dutch bucket system in this system we uh, one dutch uh, one bucket in bucket we can grow one or two plants then here one uh, drip are put a nutrient solution through the dripper and access water are uh, returning through the return line and uh, collect from the reservoir so it is a circulated nutrient solution system 
these are the very useful when the water solution or water uh, our availability is less at that time we can grow a larger plant like uh, wine crops like cherry tomato bell pepper this is system are more viability in this uh, dutch bucket system these are the dutch bucket system and we are already planted a, a, a bell pepper yellow and red bell pepper these are the growing bag system similar to a dutch bucket system but here we cannot be a collect uh, a return water this is the trough system when we use a closing spacing crops at that time we can use this uh, trough systems also a uh, uh, coco pit grow slab nowadays this system are more popular than other medias in this uh, system readily available uh, growing media a, a mixture of coco chips coco peat and uh, he is a dry form so when we grow then spray the grow slab and apply the nutrition solution put the seeds and you can uh, ready for the growing media so nowadays it's a more uh, preferable and uh, use into the commercially wine crops and uh, uh, crops for growing not hydroponics but it is a similar concept is aeroponic system in this system the plant uh, root are hanging into the air and we are apply the nutrient water through the mist of nozzles so water need a uh, uh, water or also a nutrient through this misting uh, of water we collect and they grow uh, this is the commercially uh, mini tuber product uh, mini tuber of potato when we produce at that time aeroponics are more usable similar aquaponics everyone knows uh, the aquaculture are uh, growing similar uh, similarly in vaishya vaishya we are growing a uh, plant in uh, in this system the fish output or fish uh, by product are used as a nutrient for the planting but in this system uh, disadvantage is the not uh, balancing nutrient uh, required for the plants so sometime plants show the different types of deficiency this is the hydroponics fodder it is a very good for the dairy farming uh, which are uh, growing a dairy farm into the urban area and this uh, system you can apply the every day uh, green fodder for the their cattle and uh, uh, goats and everything so it is a very good system for the dairy farming then another one concept is microgreens now they are uh, most important and uh, most uh, vi uh, viable i think say a uh, small uh, uh, woman in growing they grow grow the microgreens then it is uh, easily earned for uh, uh, too much money uh, in microgreens is 70 time more nutrition vitamins minerals and phyto uh, polyphenols in this uh, microgreens so it is a very use uh, for the uh, children consuming for the children also is also known as a superfood uh, and i am going to a maldiv uh, when uh, when it, uh, agronomy services at the time we are uh, i also growing a different type of microgreens also edible flower nowadays more demandable edible flower it's too much price uh, around uh, 250 rupees uh, in uh, given a 10 to 20 grams of edible flower these are the different edible flower another one important factor is environment uh one is a uh, temperature so temperature are more important for the growth growth and development also is depend for the germination growth and development generally uh, in poly house structure we are maintaining 70 to 27 celsius of temperature a uh, through different two type of uh, system like uh, uh, we maintaining air atmospheric temperature or air temperature we also maintaining nutrient solution temperature or root zone temperature so we here we maintain the air, air temperature is air temperature are very influence through uh, for the plant process like photosynthesis transpiration then germination and flowering also this temperature are detect from the trans uh, thermocouple uh, thermocouple sensors and this thermocouple uh, couple sensor are uh, loc uh, installed between the center of the greenhouse and we maintain the air temperature or atmospheric temperature with the 
three system like fan and pair system, then fogging system and central boiling heating system. Fan and pair system, it is a very well known uh, cooling temperature is also known as a forced ventilator system. In this system, two principles are work. First is a negative pressure principle and uh, one is a positive principle. In this negative principle, one side paid are installed. He always be wet with the uh, water. So what happened? The exhaust fan are pass on the hot or uh, hot air into the poly house. They pass on the outside. So we uh, develop a spacing of in into the poly house. So the hot air coming from the cooling pair and into the uh, enter the uh, poly house is known as a uh, it's a cooling air. So maintain the temperature and reverse process is known as a positive pressure system. These are the basic fan and pair uh, poly house structure. The fogger are also uh, uh, maintain the relative humidity as well as temperature. When the droplet of the fogger size is decreasing, then increasing the cooling. But we can not be a fogging start at least two or three, uh, three minutes. We are less uh, 10 to 10 seconds are on, on of fogger. We not be uh, running more time because we running more time than canopy are suffering uh, from the highly humidity and develop a different type of fungus and uh, different type of uh, issues we are uh, discussing further. Central boiler and heating system. Uh, in this system are generally used into the uh, European countries. And um, this system uh, in use a uh, glass house structure. In glass house, we survey uh, in surrounding the system of uh, pipeline. In this pipeline, we pass on the stream or hot water. So the temperature should be increasing into the glass house. So these are basically used for the increasing the temperature into the European country. But Indian condition, this system are not used. Another one we temperature maintain into the water solution or nutrient solution or root zone uh, temperature. In soil based, when we talk uh, soil based uh, farming, at that time we are not maintaining the temperature because soil is a, act as a buffer. But here we apply the nutrient or wa water is our basic media for growing. So maintain the temperature of nutrient solution is very important. We maintain the temperature uh, of nutrient solution through the chiller. Uh, we maintain 20 to 30 Celsius degree. Uh, in this temperature, above when increasing temperature, then dissolved oxygen level should be down. So it's down, then increasing the fungal attack and root rot attack. These are the two different uh, uh, machines is a one is a nutrient solution chiller is basically industrial chiller then one is a nutrient solution heater it is basically heater so what happened is an inlet so we nutrient solution are inlet then chill out and outcome and this chilling nutrient are passed on to the nft or any other media in also one another factor is relative humidity everyone know what is the humidity quantity of water present into the air is known as a uh, humidity or we have in hydroponics we consider as a relative humidity the amount of water vapor present into the air compared to maximum water vapor air can be hold at the particular temperature is known as a relative humidity and all the plants maybe all the plants are growth between this given the range it's 50 to 80 percent in this range, the almost all plants are growing best into the this range. About the 80 Celsius, 80% uh, increasing the relative humidity, then different type of problem we are facing. Uh, we close the stomatal uh, closer. So what happened? Uh, stomata are closed, then transpiration should be reduced. Transpiration not happen. So what happened? The heat uh, generate to the plants. And also transpiration not happen. Then at, time, at that time, translocation are not in. And translocation not happen. So nutrient and media and nutrient solution are not translocated from root to tip portion. So it not 
coming a nutrient on nutrient solution into the plant is no translocation so plants show the deficiency of calcium or different type of boron and so this type of deficiency are there also uh, higher humidity at the time uh, more spore germination then more multiplication of diseases and more pests are coming also a pollen are not dispersable and yield are should be reduced very low humidity at the time higher level of transpiration then plant are lose their turgidity so how can reduce uh, relative humidity we are already discussing increasing relative humidity through the fogger but how to reduce the reducing through the exhaust fan the exhaust fan are throw out the moisturized air from outside the greenhouse also uh, one another fan is air circulatory fan is acf or horizontal air circulatory fan this fan are what what to do the hot um, they moisturize or moisture are not uh, cover up from the plant canopy so plant canopy are dry and uh, uh, into the poly house has been a dry climate maintained so uniform climate or microclimate maintained through the air circulated fan another one is light light also important for the basic or uh, uh, most basic metabolism process is known as a uh, photosynthesis so light is important uh, for the every uh, body uh, for the growing uh, plants uh, it uh, depend on uh, light intensity duration and quality the light intensity are uh, manufacturing the food strength and color and flowering is influenced but uh, we are not given a light more than 16 hours per day so we will uh, when we grow the indoor plant plant at that time we uh, notice this uh, hour and also maintain the uh, light hours also uh, lighting are not more than 80 uh, thousand lux so we will achieve the more or more ill uh, when we uh, talk outdoor so how i mean we are controlling outdoor uh, lighting through a shade net uh, we are using generally 50 percent aluminum shade net so we will maintain the nutrient uh, lighting then indoor farming we, we we use the hid high intensity discharge then led uh, nowadays most commercial hydroponics farm are use led because it is a lay uh, less maintenance then not generate the heat so plant are easily uh, growing in this air also nowadays bazaar, uh, in market are uh, specific wavelength led light available all also we will maintain the led light through specific wavelength the nutrient solution uh, when we talk the soil based farming the soil is our soil testing and soil fertility is very important but we will talk into the hydroponics farming so water is our basic media so water testing are more required uh, when we start the project at the time we testing the uh, our water otherwise water are not good so we use the ro water because ro water in ro water no uh, anion and cation so we will need a which type of nutrient we will uh, make it through a ro water these are the different essential plant nutrient we will balance in hydroponics farming two factor keep in your mind when we work for the nutrient the core of hydroponics farming is nutrient solution here we are not a soil when we talking about the soil we apply the urea uh, two times in the cycle we apply the dap in single time so what happened dap or urea is stored through the soil and when the plants need they suck it but here we are not use uh, any kind of storage material we are directly dealing with the water so balance nutrient with a particular uh, amount with correct ratio when when the plants need which type of plants uh, plants and their needs we all these are factor in our mind and we apply to the this nutrient these are the nutrient type part a part b and part c and buffer 
we are applying nutrient to the electric conductivity so what is electric conductivity it is the ability to solution to carry the electric current we are knowing uh, to measuring with the electric conductivity or ec to measuring how many nutrient strength or nutrient are available into the water so it is a basic parameter to know what kind of or what is the strength of or nutrient into the water so electric conductivity are more use use and uh, without ec we cannot be uh, apply any kind of nutrient or any kind of uh, fertigation into the hydroponic system uh, ec is generally measuring to the uh, millisiemens per centimeter uh, uh, other low items uh, other any uh, also known as a tds is also total dissolved salt it's a convergible factor one ec is equal to 500 TDS. pH also important. In pH, we between 5 to 6.5 are most suitable for every crops. Say so easily uptake the nutrient. So we will maintain the also pH between 5 to 6.5. Usually 6 is precisely for better growth and uh, better yield. If pH is above 6.5, so we will decrease with the phosphoric acid 85%. And if pH is lower than five, then we will increasing with potassium hydroxide. Growing media, it is also important for the supporting of the plants. So their characteristics is chemically stable. It is clean. It is the not create a water logging problem, but it is a, a, a adequate water holding capacity. Also a more water, air holding capacity means it is a preferable for aeroporation. It is a required uh, air holding capacity. Otherwise, we issues the root health. Also a buffering capacity. When we use the pH, sometimes what happened, pH are more sucking through the autodosing system. So the solution of pH is too much down or too much high. At that time, the media should be act as a buffering capacity. Also, if they have a good cation exchange capacity, so easily transfer a nutrient from a nutrient solution to the plant. These are the different uh, media are available into the market, which type of system are used, which crop you are growing. Accordingly, we can use a, a free for a media. Generally, we are three type of media are used in our farm. Oasis cube, cross slab, hydroton, or cocoa pit. Location also important because uh, when we develop the project, first we side feasibility are important because uh, what happened when we develop the project, but light coming, uh, uh, light electricity are not coming. At the time we facing the issue, then water are logging area. So uh, water also problem to our uh, farm. Also, road connectivity are not available. So, location are more important into the hydroponics farming. Also, uh, after developing project, we use the weed mat. So, unwanted things from soil, weed, and uh, soil borne diseases are not infect to our, our plants. These are the different exotic crops we are use or we can grow into the uh, successfully into hydroponic system, Lolorosa, Locano, Romil, Iceberg, Red Oak, Green Oak Letter, Summer Crispino Magneta and Butterhead, different herbs, Basil, Parsley, Thyme, Rosemary, Spinach, Swiss Chard, Bok Choy, then Arugula, Oregano. These are different wine crops. We can grow easily into the hydroponic system. Different exotic cherry tomatoes, also we can grow in. These are the medicinal. Currently, I am work on the medicinal plants into the hydroponic system. We are, I think, a pioneer into the medicinal hydroponics farming. Uh, the turmeric, black turmeric, black ginger, and ginger. Different uh, medicinal plants like Brahmi, Ashwagandha, Kalmek, Saffron. We also growing our HO Saffron to indoor uh, planting. Then uh, Mandukpani. Uh, these are the different exotic vegetables. We are commercially grown for a previous, I am when a previous company at the time we are growing. Indoor uh, strawberry also we are growing. These are the different wine crops. 
kalmek uh, rosemary brahmi currently we are growing this uh, medicinal plants these are the bhuj jolka it's also known as a ghost pepper world hottest uh, chili is known as we are commercially growing and we extract the capsaicin content we uh, got the good uh, 3.5% capsaicin content from bhuj jolka then we also different type of r and d too like uh, rhizome bud techniques into the turmeric so we can reducing the turmeric uh, cycle at least one month we uh, single bud system use uh, so what happen we need a less amount of rhizome required for the seedlings purpose also a time uh, less for the growing purpose then we are also vertically and horizontally grown turmeric different type of turmeric we are growing uh, different variety the different paste uh, and nutrient and uh, uh, diseases are uh, deficiency nutrient deficiency paste and disease observe into the hydroponics farming these are the chart for micronutrient and micro uh, macronutrient deficiency into the plants uh, earlier i say when the relative humidity too much high at the time plant not able to translocation of nutrient or uh, water at the time we show the uh, uh, deficiency is a necrosis you can see a tip burn is known through the calcium deficiency here you can see also lacking to the plant it is a indoor planting we are not providing the sufficient light so the plant are lankiness so it is a not uh, commercially uh, sellable letters so it uh, depends when you uh, follow up the proper cultural practices or growing practices these are the different paste also observed into the protected cultivation it is a uh, uh, like a uh, millibug spider mite in spinach caterpillar in italian basil then thrips in capsicum this is the very very economically damaged through the uh, thrips into the capsicum also in tomato uh, white flower then uh, i feed into the iceberg different type of disease when relative humidity high that then uh, basil down remedy then chinospora root rot also observe these are the different uh, action precaution uh, for the fight against the pest and diseases uh, you can follow for uh, better and healthy crop production Uh, also for plant, plant project operation your selection of staff labor and caretaker is most important it is a semi skilled worker required every day meeting are required so what kind of germination we can do what kind of uh, harvesting today what is the order so it is a commercial in uh, when we growing a commercial purpose then it it's kind of exercise a most required uh daily activity like what kind of uh, kgs are harvesting what kind of seeds today germinated then packaging are important also in hydroponic farming one good thing is you can forecast the yield you can uh, we suppose you need of after 3 months some kind of uh, xyz kg required lolo rosa so you plan a reverse process because here mortality are too less Uh, around in 2% our mortality are here so you can predict the yield and you can forecast the yield so easy to marketing also storage or self life uh, then maintenance part also and safe uh, uh, safety of unit when you develop the project then uh, around in surrounding uh, you uh, border line are required or safety of your unit is most required thank you thank you so much now open for question hello
Thank you so much, sir. It was uh, indeed a very good uh, presentation and a very knowledgeable session. Anyhow, question? Uh, yes, sir. There are a few questions from the participants. With your due permission, can I ask them? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, sir, Vicky Meena is asking, uh, what type crops we should grow in protected cultivation, like hydroponics? That uh, means farming without soil. Which type of crops should we use? Any type of your crop are growing into the hydroponic system. Uh, previous, we are uh, generally used or uh, growing uh, exotic crops because it uh, hydroponic system are too costly. So uh, for commercially viability, we are growing uh, exotic crops. So easily viable uh, a project. That's why we use a commercially uh, viable for commercially viability. We are growing uh, exotic crops, but nowadays endogenous crops are also growing or we are the uh, also growing a medicinal plants, different type of medicinal plants also we are growing. Okay, thank you for answering, sir. Uh, so one more participant is asking that cost of production is little more high in hydroponics. Uh, so is there any way or any idea you can give to con so that we can control the price? Uh, uh, generally what happened, you can, uh, any uh, currently what happened, uh, hydroponics developing company, are uh, too uh, given a too costly pro uh, pro project, but it uh, when you develop the by own, so it not be a uh, too much costly. But ha, huh, little bit are uh, costly because the we need a system particular system. We need a particular uh, pro uh, climate condition we provide. So it is a very uh, costly. But you can maintain the cost with uh, using your knowledge or developing by the uh, developing by self, then you can uh, costing cut off your cost. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, so as of now, we know that hydroponics is not visible for field crops. But uh, is there any way that uh, in future on or nearby any uh, technology will come that we can grow field crops in hydroponics, like uh, some premium field crops? Uh, we can say basmati rice. Haan, kar sakte hai. Uh, China already do. China already do the hydroponics basmati growing. We can also okay. grow our uh, reservoir like a lake. We can also uh, growing uh, rice uh, through hydroponics. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, can we get any subsidy for hydroponic farming? Currently not available, but huh, if you uh, pro develop uh, protection cultivation, uh, protected houses like a uh, net house, then wire rope net house, it is uh, available of subsidy, but particular in hydroponic system, uh, we uh, government cannot be uh, providing the subsidy. Okay. Sir, uh, does hydroponic temperature for all crops means in hydroponics, does temperature for all crops is same uh, or there is variation? Uh, yes, it may be a variation, but we are growing a uh, same kind of same family type of crops into the particular area. So we will maintain the uh, cert certain range. Like we are growing a different type of lettuce, different type of variety of lettuce. So we will maintain 28 to 30 Celsius. So it is successfully grown in this uh, range of temperature. So crop selection is must require for the uh, poly house structure or uh, particular uh, systems. Okay. Uh, so uh, there's one more question like, uh, what would be the installation, cost, installation and maintenance cost for specific in, uh, indoor plants in hydroponics? What, can you repeat? What will be the installation and maintenance cost for uh, installation, installation of hydroponics? Installation costs are very, 
installation costs are very, but maintenance costs, including fertilizer, after the installation, not too much, not too much cost is because uh, these are the when we use the NFT system, it is a uh, uh, PVC pipes or uh, it's called as a UPVC pipes, lead free UPVC food grade material pipes. So it is a uh, rounding is a lifetime is 20 to 25 years. So after installation to uh, do not uh, too much cost uh, uh, for the operating cost, but we ha uh, yes. Operating costs are available like uh, uh, nutrient, uh, germination media, seeds, this like of cost are available in getting Okay. Uh, so uh, what are the uh, premium fruit crops that can be grown in hydroponics? Uh, premium crop, uh, every uh, like bell pepper, we can, uh, you can grow. Then uh, kira, it's also known as uh, English cucumber, you can grow. Then snack pepper, uh, also, you can grow. Uh, these are the crops are in uh, like a net house, but in fan and paid, you can grow a different type of uh, like rosemary, then parsley. You can grow easily into the hydroponic system. Also, in Indo, with control favorable condition, you can also grow in the saffron. Okay. Sir, so, uh, regarding chemical reaction, what precautions needed to be taken, like to avoid the unwanted reaction? When, you mean, in some inter plants or in other plants? No, in plants. If you apply the reaction in the proper amount and proper way, se aap apply karenge nutrient, proper quantity and proper ratio, then the plants have no reaction. Nahi aata. Okay. So as there are uh, in hydroponics also there are some types. So which type of hydroponics will be suitable for the cultivation of vegetables? Vegetables, leafy vegetables. I suggest the NFT systems and uh, vine crops. I will suggest the uh, uh, gross leaves. It is a uh, more preferable for the commercial hydroponics. Okay. Sir, is it feasible to grow oil seed crops in hydroponics? Definitely. Every crops are feasible. Uh, economy, I will say, feasible in sense of yield. I may ye nahi keta ki economically viable rahega. Wo to aapko R and D karke hi pata chalega. Ya kono sa crop hai wo pata uske baad pata chalega. Ha, definitely. Ham abhi rosemary kar rahe. Ham rosemary ka oil extract kar rahe. To hume feasible par rahe. Sir, uh, uh, is matlab pH agar zada hai. So what should Hello, am I audible, yes. sir? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, network issue. Tha. Ha, but I uh, Sir, is there any scope or help from government to farm or producer company for hydroponic system? Currently not available because government say the hydroponics farming are not for farmers. It is a for a, a, a full well and commercial uh, farming. So it could not be a, a, any kind of uh, help from the government sites, but in future we uh, our community are uh, suggest to the government so involve into the hydroponics farming and give the some uh, uh, reward or some kind of uh, uh, profit or subsidies into the hydroponics farming. Okay, uh, so which type of growing media is suitable, like uh, rock wool or coco peat? Depend upon depend upon your crops. I said depend upon okay. the crops. It's okay. very crop to crop. Okay. And uh, what should be the TDS label suitable for hydroponic system? 
generally uh, is also varied to the crops because TDS it means uh, application of nutrient, uh, strength of the nutrients. So generally in leafy area, we are maintaining 1.8 to 2 EC. It's almost 1000 TDS. Okay. Uh, and sir, if pH is high, what recommendations uh, are to be carried out? Uh, use the phosphoric acid uh, with 85% and dilute uh, to uh, uh, two zam 100 and then apply into the water and uh, you can easily down the uh, pH. Okay. Sir, uh, is there any chan uh, chance to change the TDS level? And if yes, then how to change it? Uh, yes, it is chance to change the TDS because sometimes what happens, we apply the uh, nutrient to the plant, a certain X TDS. It means uh, 50 TDS we apply to the plant. So uh, what happens, plant are absorbed some nutrient. So return water are less TDS. So we will again put the nutrient and supply to the plants. So we will check continuously, or uh, if you are not uh, uh, available of auto doser system, then you uh, check three times in a day. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, there's one question from Bhatt Ritunath. Uh, he or she is asking that, is there any scope for edible flowers in future? Definitely. वो एक इतना अच्छा स्कोप है आप नहीं यकीन करेंगे मैं जब मॉलदीव्स में था वहां के चीफ सेब को जब हमने एडिबल फ्लावर हाइड्रोपोनिक्स में ग्रो करके दिया तो वो इतना हैप्पी हुए कि वो उसने ये बात वहां के मिनिस्टर तक पहुंचाई और अभी कमर्शियली हाइड्रोपोनिक्स में वो लोग एडिबल फ्लावर करके मालदीव्स में ही सप्लाई कर रहे हैं मतलब वो रिसोर्ट का जो एक पर्टिकुलर हाइड्रोपोनिक्स फार्म था वो अभी कमर्शियली सिर्फ एडिबल फ्लावर ही ग्रो कर रहा है वो एक होटल चेन में बहुत बड़ी रिवोल्यूशनल ला सकता है क्योंकि एडिबल फ्लावर चीज क्या है वो जल्दी पेरिशेबल हो जाता है तो आप जितना जल्दी सप्लाई करेंगे और उतना आपके लिए बेटर है क्योंकि उसकी आपको सेल्फ लाइफ बहुत है नहीं अगर आप सेल्फ लाइफ के थ्रू मेंटेन करके अगर किसी तरह से होटल चेन में प्रोवाइड कर सकते हो तो आपको अच्छा खासा अर्न कर सकते हो अभी भी आप बिग बास्केट और स्टार बाजार की वेबसाइट या उसमें देखेंगे रिलायंस फ्रेश में तो भी अराउंडिंग 10 टू 20 ग्राम 150 या 160 के आसपास मिलेगा ये मैंने देखा था लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स मतलब बिफोर थ्री मंथ्स पे बोले मैंने ये देखा था वहाँ पे 180 160 रुपीस के आसपास 10 टू 20 ग्राम्स मिल रहा अच्छा स्कोप है आप कर सकते हो डेफिनेटली कर सकते हो माइक्रो ग्रीन्स भी आप कर सकते हो सर वर्टिकल हाइड्रोपोनिक्स और फ्रेम हाइड्रोपोनिक्स इस में विच विच ऑफ द अबोव इज सुटेबल फॉर लीफी वेजिटेबल्स बहुत है सुटेबल इन वर्टिकल हाइड्रोपोनिक्स यू अप्लाई द एलईडी लाइट बिकॉज़ डायरेक्ट सनलाइट आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल बट इन केस ऑफ यू यूज ए फ्रेम हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम then directly sunlight available so you can easily grow it. Okay. Is there any precautions that should be taken while uh, growing saffron in hydroponics in tropical climate? Uh, sir, you have to create a particular uh, environment. After that, you can grow the saffron in which you can grow the saffron. After that, you need to purchase the saffron after that, you can grow the saffron after that, you can grow the saffron after that. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, we have done with the questions, and uh, we are very much thank you for answering all our questions so patiently. And uh, it was really a very informative session. Once again, from Team Just Agriculture, I thank you, sir, for giving thank your valuable time. I also thank you to Just Agriculture to give us such nice platform for sharing my knowledge. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, dear participants, uh, due to some emergency work, uh, and our next guest could not join the session, so we would meet uh, tomorrow. Thank you.